Munchies, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Cast Monday, and we are doing a highly requested Cast Monday. So, in the past, I've done Powerpuff Girls in Sims for you guys. I have done Recess in Sims for you guys. I've done Avatar, The Last Airbender in Sims for you guys. I've done Totally Spies. I forgot about that until I saw it again the other day. And last time we did this, we did the reimagined Lego Friends as well. So we've done a bunch of these already. I really enjoy doing them, and you guys really like them as well. So that's pretty cool. And also, you guys have been requesting a lot that I try the Winx Saga. So, Winx Saga is actually uh, something that was a little bit after my time. Um, so I didn't really know about it that much, but I did hear about the Netflix remake of it, which I also heard a lot of people it didn't like. So I've been trying to educate myself a little bit on what the Winx Club is. This website, by the way, is a whole Comic Sans adventure. <laughs> it is kind of like this whole blast from the past. Um, and yeah, this is a... Uh, this is what the Winx Club website looks like. So I've been going, <laughs> it's like, it literally feels like, no shade to Winx, but you know when you used to like make a website as like a project in school? It has that energy about it and I'm kind of living for it. So uh, the Winx Club was a, and still potentially is, I think a, a Nickelodeon TV show about a bunch of fairies from different planets. Um, so already the premise is very, very cool. This is the main character here, Bloom. Bloom is from Earth and then finds out that she is a fairy and goes to this school for fairies to like hone their powers. Honestly, if I'd have been a kid, I would have been all over this when it was out. Um, I can already, like I was looking through the fairies. I think this is six of them. What we will do is I'll do the first three in today's video. And then if you guys like it, I will do the next three as well. Um, but we've got Bloom. We're gonna have a go with who is apparently a, a dragon. Not really sure what that means, but I'll, I'll try and look into it. Then we've got Stella, who is apparently a mermaid. Um, <laughs> and then we've got Flora, who is a dryad and dry, dryad, dryad, uh, basically into flowers. I mean, I always like the flower vibes. His photo is always on my bedside table. <laughs> uh, if you had to ask me who my favorite was, I'm probably gonna say Flora because I like the planty ones. Well, who was you, if you guys were into the wings, who was your favorites? Go ahead and let me know your favorite Winx Club member in the comments below. You can also create your own Winx avatar, which is really, really cute. And when you go to discover more, you can see like uh, people's comments on them, which is so cute. I actually just love that so much. So we're gonna have a go at creating the first three Winx characters in today's video. As I said, we will have a go at creating uh, Musa and Aisha and Tina if you guys uh, like this video. So uh, go ahead and give this video a bunch of love. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to make one of the other three fairies in the next video. And let's get to it. Let's go ahead and have a go at making Bloom. If this is your first time on my channel, um, go ahead and check out all my other Cast Mondays. We do stuff like Harry Potter, Vampire Diaries. We've done so many at this point. And if you do enjoy the content, please, please, please like and hit that notification bell. It really, really, really helps me out. And it means you can uh, join the Peaches and enjoy my videos as well. We play a bunch of sim stuff. Also, if you guys have any other series like this that you would like me to give a go, let me know in the comments as well. So let's start with Bloom. Um, I'm kind of like trying to find a main outfit for them. And I also downloaded Fairy Wings, which I'm pretty sure I've installed in my game. Yeah, I have just for this episode. So this is Bloom. Um, I'm trying to find like a full body shot or like a main like fairy shot. They all have a magical love. <laughs> This is hers, Sky. Although I was also going on the wiki where we're listed as Princess Bloom as well, which we've now ascended to royalty. And I kind of like that 16, but has a love and an ex-boyfriend. So this series sounds pretty exciting. And okay, seasons one and two, seasons two and three, season four. Is there like a fairy form? I kind of want to see a fairy form with the wings and everything. Because if I'm going to make them in Sims, I'm going to make them with wings and looking like fairies, you know? Okay, here we go. Here is some versions with wings. So it seems like Bloom has red hair. Um, also like greeny blue eyes and likes wearing blue and has blue wings. Now I have seen one clip from the new like Wink saga on Netflix and um, 
I seem to remember the wings being made of fire. I'm kind of interested if you were into this series, what did you guys make of that change? That we went from like these blue wings to fire wings. Also, I love that hobby is pizza. <laughs> In my free time, I like cooking cupcakes and huge pizzas. My hobby is also pizza, so love that for you, Bloom. But yeah, I was watching uh, somebody's... Sorry, I'm gonna keep looking at the... It's hard because like I'm trying to make this into something that vaguely looks like a human. Um, and obviously it's super stylized, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. But yeah, I was watching somebody who was really into the saga when they were like a kid. I was watching their review of it and they did not like the Netflix series. They were kind of saying, I don't really understand why Netflix didn't just uh, make a fairy fighting series instead of trying to like make one based on a novel and that or a tv series and then changing everything about it which i kind of agree with um it feels like they should have just made their own thing and not made a series that was so vastly different from the series that everyone remembers but it also kind of made me want to watch it because a like school situation where people are learning powers and are fairies. I don't know. I'm kind of there for that. That sounded really fun. It kind of reminded me of a book series. I feel like I remember from when I was a kid where somebody like discovered they were a vampire and had to go to a vampire school. Does anyone else remember this? Am I making this up? Please let me know in the comments. Okay, I was gonna go for stylized big eyes, but I honestly just don't. I don't know. I don't like the really big eyes on Sims. I think that they look a little bit creepy. And I'm just kind of like messing with her eyes a lot because I feel like obviously the eyes are like very stylized, but I still want to kind of get across that shape that they've drawn all the eyes with because I feel like it's very like, it's the art style of the show and it's it's kind of cool i don't really want to lose that oh man it's kind of i think she looks a, a little intense right now um she's also i tried to do like the little tiny upturned nose that she's got but i don't know if it looks a bit too schmuck. honestly i'm kind of realizing it's gonna be quite hard to differentiate them all because that's the same face that right there is the exact same face, you know? Also, that body shape, wow. Because <laughs> that, honestly, the eyes are kind of very much shaped like that. Okay, let's just... I feel like maybe we might have to dial down the stylizedness, but let's put some skin details on and see if it kind of mellows her out a little bit. Because right now, I'm... You know the mermaids that came with Island Living? I'm getting that energy. Okay, so this is the Go Pulls Me nose overlay and also eyelid overlay. And then the skin I've used is the Sorcerer's skin. And I'm kind of liking how it's doing the lips. I think that's cute. Kind of going to pull the face down a little bit. So I'm pulling her lips and nose. Really annoys me that there's an, a limit to how far you can pull a nose down in The Sims. I actually think if I make the eyes a little smaller. Okay, I think I think that's cute. But I feel like she's got like quite a uh, defiant face. I'm going to make her look a little bit like a little tougher with like a lower brow. This is tough because I feel like if you guys have watched this show since being kids, you probably have like a really good idea of how you think these girls look in your head. Whereas I am like coming in as a total like have never watched the show. I'm just trying going based on what I've seen online because I know you guys really want to see it. But I really want to make sure I get it right, you know? And I'm seeing like a bit of blue eyeshadow on flicks. I know the flicks could be classed as their eyelashes and I think that's probably what they are. But also I'm looking at it. I'm seeing like eyeshadow a bunch of times. So I'm gonna do both. Probably gonna be quite hard to find blue eyeshadow. Okay, there is some blue eyeshadow. I'm probably gonna tone it down a bit. Just have a little bit on like this. I love the opacity sliders so much. I use them all the time. They're such a good addition. And then I'm gonna be using these flicks from Proline. And I'm gonna go even less with the eyeshadow. I don't wanna be, to be, to be too strong. There we go. And then a little blush on the cheeks I can always see as well. And then it looks like my girls never leave without a bit of lippy on. And I'm liking this red shade on her rather than the pink one. So let's give this little red lippy. So I've gone for this I IMF with the little teethies showing through because I think that's pretty cute. And I'm just going to make her face a little bit bigger, just a bit wider. Okay, so here is a how we've got a uh, bloom looking so far. And then I love her hair. I love like the big red flowing looks. So let's see what we can do about that. I see as well this little gold crown. I guess she's a princess. So I will add that too. Unless it's on the same one as wings, in which case I might not be able to add it. And I've just remembered how hard it is to get good red styles. 
Um, it's hard to get swatches that include a good red. Like this one, no red, no real reds. This one's kind of puff. Okay, it does have a red, it does have a red, but it's not really like the same. Actually, I'm thinking maybe something like this works. Like, cause it's got all the bits flying out. And that's a nice red shade as well. Okay. Okay, now to see if I can do a crown on wings. I think this might be a problem. I also want to check out my wings because I've not seen them yet. So I'm excited to see how they look. Okay, so I got these wings here from S Club. These are the S Club wings. And there is like this blue version here, which I think would be pretty perfect for bloom. I also got these wings from Jaru Sims, which also has a blue swatch as well. Okay, one of them just not working, but the others looking real cute. Um, Those are just the wrong kind of wings entirely. There was another wing. I downloaded loaded three sets of wings. Let me see if any of them have gone to accessories because that would be great because then I can use the wings on the crown. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're so tiny. Um, Probably not those ones then. Okay, never mind, never mind. That's fine, no crown. We can imagine the crown. And I'm kind of seeing both types of wings. These ones are really like those butterfly type wings. Whereas like these ones are more like the other ones. Um, I kind of like the butterfly type wings though. So I think I'm gonna go for those ones, which is... Oh, here's the other wings. Oh, wow. I knew I hadn't just downloaded little teeny tiny ones. Okay, they're really pretty too. Um, It's kind of hard. These wings or these wings. They're both so pretty. Uh, those versus... Oh man, I really like both. But I feel like the shape of these ones, you see how they go up? I feel like that matches this a bit more. So let's go for some up wings. The original outfits are pretty much like the crop top and skirt. I like a crop top and skirt, as you guys know. I've also got the gloves too. I could just do a literal carbon copy of that outfit, but I kind of want to see if I can create something that's somewhere in between. Because look, we've got like fairy outfit and then like two day-to-day -day outfits as well. Bloom style. Always seems to dress in blue. Um, But like, look at the flares with the yellow shoes. Like, that's cute. And then this little skirt with a little jumper. Very cute as well. I think I want to try and instead of just doing straight up fairy outfit, I want to try like some outfit that I've created that I think she would wear kind of thing. So something like this could be kind of cute. That little sort of top or... I don't know. I feel like she likes a high neck actually. She likes a high neck. I love that for her. I'm also partial to a high neck. There's something like this or... Which would be like a very much a copy of her actual fairy outfit. Or something like this that's a little bit of my own take on it. I kind of want to go for a bit of my own take just so it's not a carbon copy. And I think this is really cute. And then I honestly kind of want to put her in flares. I want to put her in the flares um, just because this cartoon kind of feels like a time when people were wearing flares. Um, I know they kind of are again, but look at that. Look at her wearing those flares with the stars. I literally had a pair of flares that I um, got these little Dumbancy stars and like stuck all along the top of them. So, I don't know. I'm feeling like this kind of energy from her. But then I think what I might also do is just do like a second outfit that is me trying to copy one of these more closely. So yeah, I've given her two looks. I've given her the look closest to her like um, TV show fairy look. And then I've given her this day-to-day -day look, which is a little bit more just based on how I kind of imagine her dressing if she was like a sim in my series with the same like personality and vibes as Bloom. So there's a bit of strange color going on here. Just take note that it's slim. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think of Bloom. Our first fairy is done. Bloom, who is supposed to be the leader. So yeah, let me know what you think of her, if she was your favorite. Let me know if you guys think I did a good job. We are gonna move on to Stella, who is apparently Bloom's best friend. Her hobbies is fashion. Shopping, shopping, and shopping again. No, she's listed as a mermaid. Can she actually turn into a mermaid? Or is this just more like what her skill is? Is she like a water? fairy maybe or is she the one that's meant to be the light fairy it's kind of hard to tell from her design but it looks like she is like the light fairy i guess that like works with the blonde hair vibes as well oh and she's kind of got like a sassy look about her i like her and she wears a lot of orange okay oh <gasps> cute love this artwork okay so we've kind of got pigtails orange blonde blonde hair with the fringe the fringe might be an issue but let's see what we can do okay let me just go ahead and 
get is a little starting zone. And I feel like skin color wise, definitely a warmer skin tone than um, Bloom, who I forgot to name. She's more of like um, a pinky skin tone. Whereas I feel like Stella is more of a yellowy pink uh, skin tone. But this is where it's hard because the face, the face is basically the same. <laughs> They all seem to have very similar faces, but let me see what I can do. Okay, this is where I'm at so far. I've got the goldy eyes. I think again, I'm gonna go for some skin details and then tweak a little bit further. I definitely think like a smaller mouth works pretty well. I like the bright reshade. Uh, reshade. Uh, it's because I use the bright reshade in game. That's literally why my uh, game looks the way it does. Uh, but I like this bright blends on her. Apart from on the mouth. Um, okay, so I'm going for like very different skin detail stuff. This right here is what, SM Sims eyelid overlays. I like using eyelid overlays because I feel like the lines in the game naturally are very harsh. So this kind of like softens them a lot. And then when you add um, eyelashes, it just looks way more natural because you don't have that line inside kind of thing. You've got like, you can actually see like this part of the eye, which I think is really cool. It has made me realize I forgot Got to put something on Bloom though. I have this GS skin detail here, which I uh, don't think I can put on that layer. No, I can't. But I give this to everyone just cause like, it adds like pores and stuff. And I don't know, I just really like it. I feel like it looks really cool and real. So I put it on Bloom and I'm gonna add it to Stella as well. And most of the pictures I'm seeing, oh, we've got a bit of, bit of gold eyeshadow going on uh, here, which looks real cute. And I wanna try and get across like, I feel like she's the kind of person that's tough, but sweet with her friends kind of vibes. I don't know, I'm making this up. I really wish I'd watched this show. A lot of people said that in the Netflix uh, reimagining from the video I was watching, one, they just got rid of some characters, which I think is really sad. And a lot of people really liked, like the time when the show was made was when like technology was like, you know, I felt like we went from basic phones to like, really cool phones that did loads of stuff and like we ended up having loads of gadgets in our homes and the show kind of reflected that a little bit I don't know if you guys watched it let me know if I'm on the right lines here whereas in the Netflix documentary they kind of got rid of that whole like cool technology element of it and just stuck to the magic bit and it was kind of sad that the show melded both together but the Netflix uh, show didn't which if that is true kind of feels like a uh, little bit of a wasted opportunity Okay, so here's kind of where I'm at so far I really want to be able to get her hair right and I really like the version with the big pigtails So let's see what we can do because I do have a really good pigtail style, but it doesn't have the fringe So I got like this which kind of works. Doesn't really feel right. This still doesn't feel right. <gasps> Here it is. Okay, I feel like this one is like the right vibes for her. Going by like this hairstyle, cause look, we got the two pigtails and like the side part. If I can try and, oh, I won't be able to put the little clips in because it'll be on the same like level as her um, wings, but still, I think that's cute. I was hoping for more yellowy hair, but that's like, I mean, that is intensely yellow. I think this is like as yellowy as I can go. Which is a bit of a shame, but still. And um, then I see a lot of earrings on this girl. So let's get some earrings on there too. Um, red stars seem to be the way to go. I think I've got red stars. Oh, I can do I can do pink stars. It's not quite red, but it's as close as I can get. I might make them yellow just to like match her vibes. So this is kind of the way we've got her looking now. I haven't put any like soft blush on her because I don't feel like a character ever wears that. And then we'll do the same as we did before. So we've got like the fairy look, um, which is going to be very orange and it's mini skirts and crop tops again. But then here I'm also kind of seeing a bit of green. I like the flower sandals as well. Um, and then there's like a little orange dress there as well. There's a lot of looks basically. Okay, let's do like the furry one then. So like one shoulder and then little little shorts. And I don't have a single top that's one shoulder. Like not even one. How is that possible? So let's just go for this for now and then shorts. These are the only shorts I have that are actually orange. Uh, other than those which don't feel right. However, they do have the little arm, the little leg strap, sorry, but if it's the only way we're gonna get it to work, then I think we gotta stick with it. Her fairy outfit's hard. And then it's like the orange boots as well. Um, Probably have to go for something like that. Oh, actually, okay, perfect, perfect. So the orange boots and the little shorts, the top. I couldn't get the right gloves for um 
Oh wait, she got blue wings too. Oh, she's got blue wings as well. I thought she would have orange wings. Okay, I probably will go for a different wing just so that we can like mix it up a little bit. So maybe we go for those wings with her and these wings with her just so everyone's got a bit of a different vibe. And then we've got these little arm cuffies as well that I've noticed. Okay, so this is like her fairy form. But then I kind of have more fun with this other form. So the other one is kind of just imagining how I think that she would like dress in my game. So you know, she's into fashion and she likes wearing orange, blue, and green. Kind of getting like this sort of vibes from her or like a little Gucci two piece sort of energy. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I thought that was kind of like very much on brand. From what I can tell anyway, with like some little cute heels. Any that have a flower on them is a big bonus, but that might be a bit much to us although this is like a whole look but i think maybe something like that actually that's kind of cute yeah so i kind of feel like something like this let me know what you guys think and if stella was your favorite in uh the winx club let me know if you think i've done a good job so we've done stella and bloom who are um best friendos and now i kind of feel bad because i'm actually splitting up a best friendo group because the final one that we're gonna do today is flora who has the brown hair with the like blonde streaks at the front i actually have a hairstyle that does this it's not going to be as big or as bouncy as hers and flora as her name suggests likes taking care of flowers and plants is her favorite activity yes girl i am exactly the same and she just looks so freaking cute what okay so this is flora i'm getting okay green wings um and green and pink clothing <gasps> this is very very cute okay what's your like fairy outfit okay so her fairy form is like a full-on um pink dress and then st i love her style this outfit i want to try and recreate because that's so freaking cute okay so skin tone wise i'm feeling about here and green eyes okay that skin tone versus eye combo is very cute and again it's basically the same face <laughs> But we will try and differentiate her a little bit in Sims. I always gravitate towards like the nature based characters in shows like this. I think if I actually had like nature powers, maybe I wouldn't kill my plants so much. But it's probably because I wish, I wish I had this power to not kill all of my poor little plant babies. Also, because usually like the nature ones have the, um, like they can talk to animals and all that kind of cute stuff. And like, I want that too. Okay, so here's kind of where I'm at so far with her. Let's put on some skin details. I feel like that's gonna help. That one looks, does look very cute. I like this one as well, cause it's got a little, little soft belly. Okay, I think she's looking very cute. She does seem to have a little bit of a softer expression. So hopefully, if you've watched it, this is kind of feeling what, this is kind of similar to what you guys were thinking. It's so hard when I haven't seen the show, but I really want to do a good job for you guys. And then quite pink lipstick as well. I know what this, this, these ones look really different to these ones. Like this is the one I'm seeing more of. So that's kind of what I'm basing it a bit more on. Okay, so there we go. A bit more of a pink lip. And okay. So the hair that I have in mind, there's a few actually, cause I forgot I can do it with these hairs too. Cause we've got like the two streaks, the blonde streaks. But I have um, like Billy Eilish hair, where's it gone? So I can kind of do it like this, which I thought would be quite cool. So it's like brown with blonde at the front. Oh, it's Jenny hair. It's not Billy Eilish. Oh, it's Jenny from Blackpink hair. And I think this is Leah Lilla, I think, or Nightcrawler. One of the two. Sorry, they don't put the name on the hair, so it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, that's a pretty good, okay, I think that's it. I think that's pretty much there. Is that? Oh, that and I don't think the front isn't white it's blonde okay that's pretty good so that's one option the other one I can do is maybe like this to keep it out of the hair so I do the main hair color which is like here and then I can apply like the front as the blonde here so pretty cool right this is anto hair um it's so good for doing stuff like this the side part is actually like her original hair had a middle part but i feel like this hair is like this it's longer it's bigger it might be better for that character oh there is this one <gasps> okay okay yeah that's it that's the one we gotta we gotta guys okay and then the wings are pink so let's go to oh it's in heart let's get some pink wings so we got these pink oh no oh no it goes into a hair don't 
could do that. Do these ones do it too? Okay. Looks like we're going back to the Jenny hair, guys. Because <laughs> otherwise it goes into the wings. Yeah, I can't do that. That's a shame. Okay, it's fine. We can do this because that's like pretty... It's it's not as good because it's not as much hair. Um, But it's, it's pretty good. So that's fine. At least you guys got to see both. And none of those are pink. And... None of these are pink. So we will go for the other wing type, which is these ones for Flora. And let's go pink like this. Okay. And then let's do fairy outfit first. So it's this like corseted dress. This is going to be quite hard to do. I like the sleeves as well. The sleeves are cute. Let's see what I got. This is making me realize that I don't think I've got any corsets like a CC. Like literally nothing. Yeah, the only one I've got is this. What? And I can't recolor it. If I can get a skirt that goes over. Oh, it's going under. Okay, I may go for this for her because it's got like the buns that I've seen on some outfits. Outfits. Like the little, it's almost like little shoots. I downloaded this for like a completely different thing. It was like a, um, it's meant to be like a Tinkerbell outfit, but I'm finding it really hard to make her outfit otherwise. So this may be the closest we can get. She looks the most fairy of everyone because of this outfit. I mean, I can give her like the little pink boots. It's not perfect and I feel like, you know, I really wish I'd been able to get- Wait, your wings are green. Why did I think your wings were pink? Wait, sometimes they are. Okay, this is confusing. Why do your wings change color? Okay, I'm seeing a lot of green wings rather than- it's kind of both. I think I'm gonna go for green, which I'm actually kind of happy about because now I've got a bit more contrast with the outfit, which I like. So this is fairy form, but then how would Flora dress if she was a sim in my game? And I'm so living for this outfit that I'm basically gonna just try and recreate that. That's so cute. I have a top in mind. Uh, not that one. Um, this one, which does not have a swatch for like that bright green. No. Okay. Um, that's cute though. With. Don't feel like anything with a chain. It's a bit too like edgy. Um, yeah, that's cute. Something like that. And then I think that kind of looks cute. Maybe with some like little um, bracelets. Yeah, I just feel like something like that looks really cute on her because it's the same colors. And I feel like it's got the same energy as this, but just like a slightly different version. So let me know what you guys think as well. So this is for Flora. So we've got day-to-day -day outfit and fairy outfit. Very fairy for Flora. <laughs> And then we've got Stella in day-to-day -day outfit and also fairy outfit. And then finally we've got Bloom in day-to-day -day outfit. I'm actually, I'm starting to like flares. Oh my gosh. Day-to-day -day outfit and then fairy outfit as well. So which one uh, was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Which one um, do you feel like I've done the best job with, even if it's not your favorite? Or have I just done a terrible job with them all? Please let me know in the comments below. I think Flora, both like style-wise and just like vibe-wise, is probably the one that I like the best, but I want to hear from you guys as well. So let me know what you all think. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do think I've done okay, um, I will do the next three weeks characters as well. So maybe give me some tips and hints for those in the comments and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!